Our film opening was quite typical with the conventions which we used. We found that when we did our market research, when looking into romantic films, it tended to get the main characters really well known in the, in the film opening. And when we did our market research, we also found that they liked having getting to know the main characters. And so we wanted to do this in our film, so we stuck with the traditional what was expected from a romantic film. We also stuck to it with thriller as well, because what people liked in a thriller was having a big climax in the first few minutes of the film. So that's why we had our man going into the girl's house, which was a big climax. Most of the films that we looked at were this typical convention, but there was a few exceptions. For example, Hard Candy was slightly different to this, but we just decided that we wanted to stick to the traditional way of doing a romantic thriller film. We think that we followed the genre conventions of our film well because we had two main characters that you got to know right from the beginning and they were male and female and we had a big climax which was when the guy gets into the girl's bedroom. We thought that this was very reactionary as it's not something that happens to everybody every day. Our media product uh, represents a social group of uh, about 14 year old age girl as being really innocent and naive because of our character was quite short, she was blonde. This is why I think we chose the actors quite well, because it's what you'd expect of a 14-year-old girl. She was innocent, she was getting ready for her normal day life. There was nothing strange or weird about her. She was just a typical everyday girl. So I think it represents her as just been innocent, quite quiet and naive. So that's quite reactionary, as this is what people would expect from a character of that age group. Whereas if she had been slightly odd and that would have been much more radical but we wanted to stick to reactionary so that the storyline had a bigger climax to it. We feel that the male character was represented a bit radically and reactionary. Because of the way he looked, he looked normal, there was nothing particularly strange about his looks or it was just the way that he acted was very strange. You don't expect a normal 24 year old obviously to be stalking a young 14 year old and we felt the environment that he was in was very radical because he had all these pictures of her, he had his laptop with her page, he had a big camera, he had taken all these photos of her which is not expected. So I think it represents the social group in a really negative way because it will make people think that all ma males like that are crazy stalkers when they're really not which is why it's radical because a normal male in a romantic film would just be someone who's got a good job and happy with life and just falling in love with this girl. But he's not. He's crazy. He's stalking her. He's mentally ill, which is why he's so, such a radical character, even though you may think he looks normal just by his looks. But really, when you get to know him, which you do in our film opening, you realise that he's a bit of a strange character. As our production is a hybrid genre, it's a mixture of romantic and thriller, it gives it a very large target audience, as romantic films are mostly aimed at like females and stuff, and thrillers are mostly aimed at uh, males. So it makes more people um, wanting to watch it, which is good for a small media institution, as it would give them more publicity and they'd gain more money from it. We think that our production is good for our audience's personal needs, as it allows them to escape from their everyday lives, which is one of Katz, Gurevich's and Hazard's social things, um, which we think is good for our film and for a small media institution. We think that the main target audience for our film opening would be about 17 to 24 year old, mainly males. We think that mainly males because of the thriller element, because it is going to be quite a scary film and a film opening with someone going into the house. Um, having that main thriller part is why we feel males would be much more attracted to come watch our film. But then, because of the hybrid drama genre, having some romance in there as well, I think that that means that more women would be inclined to watch this film, as they would like the romance and the excitement of the film, even if they weren't so keen on the thriller. And so, although it's mainly aimed at males, I think that many females would be interested in watching our film as well. I think this is really good for a film opening because it means that there's a larger target audience which means the institution distributing it is going to make more money off it because more people will be willing to watch it. We used a range of different shot types and shot sizes for our film opening to address our audience. For example, we used a mid shot of the male character to start with. We used this so that our audience could get to know him and to find out what kind of character he was. Also, the low shot and the low lighting that we used of the male character when he's in the car 
um, looking at the girl. We thought this was quite good because it made it look quite sinister and scary, which is what the effect that we were going for. Also, the first shot that you get of the female when she's asleep in her bed, we thought that this was quite good as it allows young girls to relate to it and engage with the film better. We feel that the locations that we used in our film opening were really good for addressing the audience. We think this because of the locations that we used, it was really good to help the audience get to know the characters and help them to understand the storyline better. The first location we used was in the male character's shed where he was like just looking at all these pictures of girls. We thought this helped them to really get to know the character. Because the location was scary and dingy and a bit odd, it makes them think that the character is more like that. And this helps stress the audience to get to know the character and the theme of the film well, and they get to know what kind of things it's going to be about and what's going to happen. We also think this works really well in the girl's bedroom. Having the girl in a nice pink bedroom with mirrors and hearts makes them really see that this is an honest little naive girl and she's been stalked and that's what's good about having the photos as well. It helps the audience to do the link between the male and the female character. Uh, but the location of it, I think, worked really well because it made her seem instant naive, which let, allowed the audience to get to know her really well. When the male character is outside the house, I think this is addressing the audience because they start to feel that this is going to be a thriller. And remember, the people who are watching this film are people who want to see a thriller. So when they see that this character is now outside her house, it's kind of like addressing them as this is what they are hoping for in the film. And then that's why having the low lighting and the low angle on him is good because it seems a bit more scary. And then the kitchen just added to the innocent naivety of the girl just her pouring a drink. And then the fact you could see his point of view of her having a close-up of her fiddling with her hair made the audience really feel engaged with the film opening and not like they're watching it, but like they were actually him outside her house. And then, like with the opening the fridge shot, it made them feel like they are her. They really feel involved with our film. And that's why I think that the characters and the locations worked really well to help attract and engage the audience with our film opening, which is good, because then hopefully if there was a whole film, it would mean that they wanted to watch it. We learned that as we filmed our two characters at separate times, that the lighting was really difficult to get because for the male character, the lighting was different from when we filmed the female character. If we had done this and, and filmed them both at exactly the same time and on the same day, then it would have made everything a lot easier for us as we then had to go back and edit it all and change the lighting and the brightness and contrast and all that to try and make it look the same and as if it was the same time of day, which is what we wanted for our film. Um, some of our shots of the male character looked a little milky compared to some of the shots of the female character. We thought that even though it's in a different location and a different time of day, we needed the shots to look a little bit similar so that it made the film flow better. Um, this would have been easier for us to do and to film both the characters at the same time as we would have known what lighting we had originally had and we wouldn't have then had to go back and try and find it. Um, we found that the editing of our film opening actually took longer than we had anticipated. I think we found this mainly because of the sound we had to do over and over to get it absolutely perfect because it just didn't look right when the sound was a tiny bit wrong. Even little things like trying to find the right music for our clip took much longer than we'd anticipated just because we felt that the music and the sound were so important. But it was also things like the lighting and the shots. We wanted to edit these just so they were right and they looked like they were the same time of day because obviously filming at different times made a bit awkward for lighting. But even some of the shots we just had to edit, change the contrast, brightness, just change it a bit just so it was just right. But we found even just putting the shots together and making the editing seem smooth and real just generally took longer. So we've learned that when filming we should definitely leave more time for the editing. We learned how to use the camera but from our dark